Hello, welcome back to another episode from Pale Horse Survival and Tactical. I'm Bill, glad you could join me. Today we're going to take a look at an acorn cap whistle. Stay tuned. All right, what you uh, see me blowing on is an acorn cap. And I wanted to get out to a distance to demonstrate exactly how loud these are. That whistle was just echoing through the forest. The, uh, the sound really carries. I was out probably, I'm gonna say I was out probably a good 100 yards when I was at the uh, furthest point from the camera. But uh, they're pretty easy to do. It just takes a little bit of practice like everything else. So you find a standard acorn cap, make sure it's clean on the inside. And the trick is positioning your thumbs. You want to get your thumbs right around here, and you want your you want to rock them, rock your thumbs in to where your knuckles touch. And this part should be you don't have to put a death grip on it. 
but it should be snug up against the underside so you're kind of sealing this back side off with the pad of your thumbs it takes a little practice to get the uh, the opening just right and you can experiment with it whoops sorry guys so you want to bring it in rock your thumbs in so your knuckles touch and you've got a little slit and you're going to blow right across the top of your knuckles let's take a look at a couple other uh, caps that i have all right so here is a cluster of acorn caps that i found and these are different sizes this one's a little bigger it's kind of a medium size and then you have the little one even the little one works and and the smaller it is the higher the pitch the larger the lower the pitch and i even found beneath a walnut tree this walnut shell so i cleaned it out and this produces a little bit produces a little bit uh, deeper note so we're going to go ahead and position you have to adjust it just takes practice to adjust the size of your opening there you can hear that's a that's a lower lower note to the sound and then we'll do this uh, small one here you have to use a little bit smaller opening you have to kind of experiment with it and that was a real high pitch being small like that man that rang my ears holy crap that's loud and then this is uh, one of the larger ones You can almost play around with the small one and you can almost uh, you can almost uh, make distress calls like prey in distress it's uh, kind of interesting kind of playing around with it but uh, you might ask yourself what use would this have well in an emergency if you were injured you needed a whistle to uh, attract attention you uh this would be a good way they're certainly loud enough and uh, the noise carries a long ways it's pretty ear shattering uh another thing if you're uh need to signal say you're in a tactical situation maybe you need to signal somebody uh, a member of your crew that's off a little ways uh, you can do that set up a little uh, coding system back and forth that's good for annoying people too Believe it or not, people, some people get kind of kind of mad when you're you're doing this around them. I've experienced that a few times already. I mean, that echoes through the woods. They're really, really super loud.
walnut shell. And then this small one here. That one's really super loud. Yikes. Anyways, I hope all of you enjoyed this short, quick little tutorial as much as I enjoyed making it today. Please like, subscribe, and share. I hope all of you are having an outstanding day or night, depending on where you're located, and I will see all of you very soon on the next one. Everybody take care. Bye-bye.